Hi guys, in today's episode, I just going to give you the clear outline to become a data analytics engineer or a data scientist. In recent days, I have attended uh, some houses in the clubhouse and thereby lots of people are in the confusion to know the career track to become a data analytics engineer or a data analyst or to the higher level a data scientist. In, in this video, I just going to give you the complete outline for that. And if you are watching my video for the very first time, this is Supramani, I am a budget data scientist and I am a self-paced learner too. So I have compiled all my success strategies in this YouTube channel with each other. Thereby, I used to post lots of tech videos that are required for those looking for a career transition from one domain to another or to those working in a night shift and return their career into the technical side and even for freshers. I also used to post lots of job updates from Nokri, Monster, LinkedIn and other way, uh, various uh, referral means. Hence, please subscribe my channel if, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet. With no further delay, let's enter into today's video. Think about the path to become a data analytics engineer. The first and foremost thing is like you should be much skillful in MySQL or Oracle. You have to choose any one of the database knowledge. You need to gain any one of the database knowledge. So think about myself when I started my career as a fresher. Still, I remember the day that I attended an interview in a product based organization called FIS. Nearly 30 to 35 freshers we attended the drive and only 4 or 5 people we got shortlisted and forming nearly 1 hour of technical discussion on MySQL has been conducted. So they have asked many technical questions along with the queries that to be solved and we need to explain the logic as well as the theoretical concepts uh, or the theoretical answers for the questions which they have arised. So spend at least 15 to 30 days in order to improve your SQL knowledge. You can have a separate note, you can practice things and see guys, cracking an SQL interview to become a data analyst or a data analytics engineer or even in some scenarios to become a technical support engineer, SQL plays a very vital role and it is the very basic fundamental to put yourself uh, in any of the uh, technical bucket. So, have the habit of practicing the SQL queries, have a separate note and solve it and keep it handy such that you can revise it whenever you go for any interview. So, I have seen many of my friends who are earning a lot just with SQL knowledge. It doesn't mean with SQL knowledge you can become only as a SQL developer. Apart from that, there are various other opportunities that can root you into the technical career and tracking the SQL interviews are quite simple comparing to the any other uh, interview perspective. And secondly, once you become familiar with SQL, spend energy in any of the programming like one any one programming language. If you ask me personally, I would prefer to take Python because in any of these positions like data analyst or data analytics engineer or research analyst, machine learning engineer or for a software developer, Python plays a very vital role since it has more than 1000 libraries where we can implement any tasks that are required for your projects. So cultivate the habit of practicing the Python, especially the core Python and in my YouTube channel I do run a 90 days Python plan to become a data analytics engineer there but I cover all the topics that are required for a software engineer as well as those who want to turn the career into the data analyst or a machine learning side. And I also planning to launch a 90 days SQL uh, series which I will be giving you in the above card as well as in the below description. So to become an efficient programmer, it may take a year. How do you prepare a programming? Is like in the first phase, you have to cover all the topics that are available in the programming language, starting from the code point of view to the data structures. In the second phase, you have to refer some other materials and you have to add values to the content which you have already prepared and always have the habit of maintaining a proper notes, especially 
In the first phase, you can have a uh, handwritten notes and you make the pro you try to implement the programming any kind of uh, Jupyter notebooks. Such that in the second time when you prepare, you can add values to your digital content. So always have the habit of making a digital content, especially when you write codes. For the theoretical concepts, you may have notes which are handy, but for the technical part, just have some digital notes such that every time when you come across some different concepts or in, when you travel in depth to that particular topic, you can add that values. And third phase of your preparation slide, you should start giving interviews. Don't skip any interviews until and unless you are a fresher or you are the one looking for a career transition or you have an intermediate level of understanding. Don't leave out the habit of attending interviews. And the fourth phase is like you should start giving back to the community as like since last COVID, I started giving back to the community with my YouTube channel, Richester, such that you can run your own YouTube channel or you can write blogs or you can start handling classes for the freshers or those looking for a career change like you. So my habit is like whenever I go and attend interviews and I miss, when I miss any kind of questions, I have my separate notebook. In this notebook, I actually make a note of what are all the questions I have missed and in the same day, I will sit and I used to solve the answers for that and this will actually help me in a greater extent uh, in order to tackle the interviews in many other uh, higher institutions. So this is the habit actually each and every one of you should cultivate in the starting three to four years of your career and after that one your experience speaks. But for those looking for a career transition for the freshers, please do maintain the habit of handling the notes. So, this is the note which I used to cover all the interview questions and this is the note uh, that I used to compile all my you know, uh, data science kind of uh, preparation. So having a theoretical notes as well as the digital notes will really help you a lot. Any other uh, domains with the IT sector and the third and the fourth things, fourth uh, options are you should be familiar with any one visualization tools say like Tableau or Power BI. It hardly takes a one month to make yourself uh, familiar with these uh, visualizing tools. Again, we have Matplotlib, Cufflinks Plotlib, which are all the third party libraries which are again available in the uh, Python. But in order to make some interactive dashboards, uh, people often use Power BI or a Tableau or even Splunk, with Splunk which is highly used to buy Vodafone, Domino's, Adidas, where again it is a log monitoring tool too. So these are all the visualization tools uh, which soon I'm going to launch on my YouTube channel too. I will be uh, covering the tutorials part and again if you uh, surf in the internet you will be getting lots of other contents and the fourth one is like try to have any one cloud knowledge like Azure or AWS especially like uh, Elasticsearch, EC2 instance, S3 bucket, RDS for uh, database activities. So just have a separate note and cover the important topics that are required in uh, cloud computing because as in the present scenario all the organizations are moving towards the cloud you should know the fundamentals of cloud even though you don't want to handle the cloud and run at least you should know the fundamentals such that uh, once you enter into the organization into the particular project definitely uh, the recruiter will have a confidence that you can do it better you can put yourself in any position the final one is like to turn your career as a data scientist or a machine learning engineer in the beginning days at least be familiar with the fundamental five algorithms started from the scratch and think, think it in a different way the different implementations for these algorithms and study it in the knock and corner starting from the scratch of the algorithm why, why the algorithm is required why for this particular scenario this algorithm is applied what, how, how you can implement the feature engineering techniques in that particular algorithm what are all the other salient features you can find in the particular algorithm? Why the particular algorithm is suit for that particular uh, project that you have done? So you have to make lots and lots of insights regarding that uh, algorithm. So just be familiar with any five algorithms. And again, in the very upcoming days, once the Python series and SQL series ends up, I will come up with the data science series in order to help the meaning. But data science and machine learning will be in the top of the hierarchy. To attain that, you should start your path from SQL, Python, data visualization and cloud computing, finally data science commission learning Israel. And if you need any personal guidance, please follow me in the below link that I provided. I have attached to you my LinkedIn profile link. I have given you the uh, my clubhouse link. Please follow me in that. And also you can follow me in Insta with the double underscore gesture. You can direct message me such that I will be glad to help you. 
I also provide training session for refreshers and those looking for a career transition as per the convenient. So you can ping me in the below links. So until catching you with a most interesting episode, this is Subramani. Don't fail to subscribe my channel and, and thank you for watching my video. This is Subramani signing off from my YouTube channel, Witty Gesture.